Um, thank you for having me. Um, so the, um, I, I'll, I'll look at this from two um, lenses. Um, the first is, um, what is the effect of um, talent migration, right, on, on, on the African continent? And Nigeria, you know, to be specific. Um, first is that um, we immediately suffer, um, you know, a service backlog, right, in Nigeria. Because, of course, when, when people move, what you'd see is that the best of the best move. Um, gone are the days when, uh, you know, you hear the older generation talk about, oh, I schooled in the UK and then I spent some time there and then I came back home because, you know, lots of opportunities at home and I'm trying to, like, make a difference and all that and all. But that has, that has changed and that is changing. Um, so the immediate effect of that is that um, the populace in Nigeria would definitely suffer um, service back backlog, right? Um, because, you know, pe um, um, even the quality of service will also reduce, right? Because you now have um, highly skilled individuals emigrating and living. Um, however, the good side is that because we are also a very young population, um, there is a pipeline of people to take on, uh, you know, those, those responsibilities. Um, the only thing that now needs to happen is a, a quick turnaround, right? So that these um, young individuals and new individuals uh, catch on and they're able to, like, play at the level of the people yeah. that are living. I know that that's weird, almost impossible at some, you know, in some levels because it takes time. So desperate times, desperate solutions, right? Um, I think first of all, and, I, and I'm beginning to see that with employers, which is a good thing, um, is to actually open up your door to, act, to taking in young, inexperienced people. Um, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing a, a particular trend now, which is, a, um, so I see employers trying out um, um, like a finishing school or some graduate training programs, some that didn't even have that before. But because they, they've now recognized and seen these gaps within their own organization, um, they realize that it's important to start to pipeline talent. Um, so I, that is one way to leapfrog. So um, 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 giving you the opportunity to learn on the job without necessarily doing the job, but you're learning on the job. and if there is now an, uh, a situation where maybe that particular talent leaves. Um, there is now an already steady hand that has been trained over time to then take over. So that is one something that definitely can be uh, that can be taken advantage of. Another thing also is um, you know the uh, um, educational institution also stepping up. Um, for the for a very long time, we've said it that the curriculum in Nigeria is outdated. We've said it that there is a huge gap between what uh, people are coming out. Uh, of the university with and what the, what the um, world of work, you know, wants and, uh, and what they need. So um, a way to leapfrog um, is also to, sh to um, shrink that gap as much as possible. Um, the educational institution needs to step up. They actually really need to step up. There's a need. So if we've been saying that for the past 20 years, whatever we've been saying for the past 20 years needs no, to start to happen. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so in the past um, four years, actually, we also decided to take a look at this problem. Um, why? Because um, our, major, our business model is centered around linking job seekers and employers, right? It means that the more employers, I mean, the more job seekers I link to employers, the happier the, um, the job seekers, the happier the employers. The employers pay me for that, so happy. Everyone is happy. But then we realized that um, um, employers kept complaining about the fact that young people are unemployable, not necessarily because they lack um, um, comprehensive skills, but because they lack soft skills, right? So we took on a, an audacious um, 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 project in 2020 to actually train um, 2 million people on soft skills, right? Um, in partnership with the MasterCard Foundation. And so shout out to MasterCard Foundation. Um, and they, you know, they, they went on that journey with us. And also um, in, in the process of training these people, we also placed a uh, significant amount of 500,000 of them. And also with the focus on, on women. So we started this project, and um, I can say for a fact that we have trained over 1.2 million people over that wow. period. Um, the project is still ongoing. It's you know just 800, 800 more, um, and we have also seen a significant change. Um, for instance, in terms of the responses from even um, employers that we send these job seekers to, so they're like, oh yeah, you know during the um, during my engagement with this person, this person actually sounded. Um, and communication skill is a lot better. Um, this person has an idea of time management. Um, I think this person has good emotional intelligence. And these are things that are not taught in school, right? And they are very essential to be able to, you know, in the workplace. So that is something that we have done um, to ensure that uh, 
we are able to also like help break that gap between the employers and job seekers. Another thing that we did for employers in particular is that we opened our platform free. Um, so as an employer, for instance, uh, depending on what you are looking for, you can actually go to our platform and post a job for free, right? Um, so please, employers, if you're listening, post your job for free on Jobberman. It's there, right? Um, lots of um, job seekers are really, really looking forward you know, to engaging you. We have over 3 million job seeker subscribers on our platform, and these people are really looking forward to working with you. So dear employer, if you're listening, post your job on Jobberman. Business Day, thank you so much for putting this together. It's been amazing. I met some wonderful people in there. The panel session was amazing. I'm open to see more of this. Uh, so thank you so much for having us uh, our Business Day.